Hey everyone, my name is Robbie Barbieri and I'm here today to talk to you about Bill 2940, 10 Care for Working Individuals with Disabilities. I've been a Tennessee resident for 15 years. I moved down to Nashville to attend Vanderbilt and play football. While I was there, I earned two degrees and met my wife. Two years ago, life looked a lot different than me. I was living in West Nashville, happily married, working in finance full time and planning for a future. In early 2022, I was in a car accident. My car flipped off the side of the road and hit a telephone pole. I woke up a day later and was paralyzed from the shoulders down. Overnight, my life completely changed. I was in and out of hospitals and I moved back to Nashville about a year and a half ago to face the reality of living with a significant physical disability here. For just about everything, I learned that I rely on caregivers. They are single-handedly the biggest aspect of my health and well-being. People with my injury typically require over 70 to 80 hours of caregiving a week, a financial burden that can only be supplied through Medicaid and not by private insurance. So for a lot of people like me, 10 care and Medicaid means literally life or death. So I returned to Nashville six months after my accident. I was determined to join the workforce in order to help my family pay for all of these new medical expenses and save for, for the future of this new lifestyle that I would have, but I couldn't. Currently, in order to maintain 10 care eligibility, I learned that I have to have under $2,000 in assets and around $2,800 in income just to get the Medicaid services that keep me alive. Not only that, but these limits also apply to my wife. I was forced to make a choice between employment and marriage and getting the vital health care support that keeps me alive. My wife and I were forced to get a divorce and I put employment on hold while we navigated this new reality. Here I was, newly injured, with a couple of degrees from Vanderbilt, trying to rejoin the workforce but I'm being told that I can. There is a system that is limiting people here in Tennessee that want to work and pay taxes like myself. Tennessee is one of four states that does not have a program in place for workers with disabilities. Contrary to what a lot of people think, this is not a Medicaid expansion bill. This is a bill that keeps people with disabilities in the workforce and a bill that saves families. I have so many friends in the area that are getting divorced and they're withholding employment just to maintain Medicaid eligibility. I want nothing more than to be able to work to my full potential and have access to the caregiving that I need to live a healthy lifestyle. I do not want a future where I am trapped at home receiving Medicaid and doing nothing. I want a future where I can both survive and thrive. I want a future where I can work, contribute, pay taxes, get married, and save for all of the expenses that come with my disability. Your support with this bill means the world to me and hundreds others. Thank you.